Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm doing a review of the Halloween Oracle. I thought this was a deck that I had reviewed before, but I think I reviewed the Trico Tarot and the um, Halloween Tarot, but I don't think I've done the Halloween Oracle. Um, I have a rather extensive uh, deck review playlist in case you're interested on this channel. Um, this is by Stacy DeMarco, and uh, I just want to show you how awesome the box is here. So um, obviously very well designed, uh, very nice box, but what is most important are the cards that are on the inside. So let's take a gander at that and awesome orangey for the spirit of the season. Okay, so taking a look at the guidebook first, just a quick little flip through, um, you know, so you can skip ahead if you want to go see the cards. Um, but Stacy DeMarco um, has a little bit about um, what, like what this deck is all about. You know, is it about fun and games? What is it all about? Um, and I love her explanation of kind of why she created this deck and um, the energy surrounding it. Of course, you could use your deck however you wish, but there are also suggestions. There are some suggested spreads. Um, I always like to try out at least one spread from every new deck that I have, like from uh, the guidebook. Um, and then it goes right into the cards. Oh, hey, it's Loki. And Loki's actually in the room with me right now. Um, so it goes into the cards here. It'll have the keyword as well as like the little phrase that's underneath um, here, but then they give you a little bit more, like a little bit of poetry. And then it tells you uh, in a little bit more detail what that card might be about. So. If you want to pause it and give that a read, you can. And this one is for ancestors, very appropriate for this time of year, um, as there are many cultures that celebrate, uh, you know, transition, death, uh, ancestors, and and all of that. Um, of course, uh, there are other times of year that other cultures celebrate that as well. Um, but here is a little bit about Stacy DeMarco, and hmm, of course, you know, all the other stuff that. Blue Angel has to offer, and there we go. So, actually very nice. I, I love the cover, like I just love the feel of it, <laughs> as well as the box. So let's put these things off to the side, and we're gonna zoom in on these cards here, but I just wanna give you a show of the the backings. So it's very like cute, Halloween-y, but as you'll see, the cards are very serious on the other side, at least to me. Um, very, very shiny. Um, but I think that coating has protected my cards for as long as I've had them, which has been uh, quite some time. They are your standard oracle size. Okay, so let's dive right in. Let's take a look at these beautiful cards. <sighs> oh my goodness, I just love the artwork that is in this deck. And like I said, with the, the keyword and what is said below the, the image, to me is just so appropriate. Let me let me actually get down nice and dark so you guys can see these cards. Oh my goodness. To me it's like, this is great for shadow work. It's great for any time of year. I don't think specifically just for Halloween, but I felt it appropriate to do a deck review of the Halloween Oracle in the month of October for you guys. But I could just get lost in the images and, you know, I, I have had some great meditations with this. I've done some shadow work with this, so although it's very cute and fun on the back, um, I don't think that the other side is to be taken very lightly. Oh wow, two skulls in a row. That's so cool. What are the chances of that? I've had this deck for a while and trust me, it gets shuffled quite a bit. Maybe that's a message for me. Hmm. <sighs> this has to be my favorite card. <laughs> And I love the Dia de los Muertos party that my friend holds every year. He's going to be having his, I think it's his seventh annual, seventh or eighth annual party this year. I can't wait. November 1st, here we come. And 
And of course they'll do like a little mini read after this, just to show you how I read with the cards. And hey, if you grab a message from it, then even more fantastic, right? over and done my review that way, but that's okay. We're going to do a little actual flip through. <laughs> um, now I have used this um, in tandem with tarot decks act and actually Lenormand decks as well, like using it as like a theme of the overall reading. Um, so like if I'm doing a big spread, I might use this deck and a tarot deck together, um, but I have also used it on its own. Um, I have found it very beneficial as just setting the theme for the reading. It's definitely helped me understand a little more clearly uh, other decks that I use in the reading and what their messages are trying to say, you know, if I have a set theme. It's Loki! <laughs> He's actually asleep on the herbs behind the camera. quite a few skulls in this deck. It makes sense. Halloween, death, transition. You have the skull of stars, the skull of flowers. I have quite a few skulls on my altar. The underworld. And our last card, the apple. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a shuffle shuffle. I'm just gonna pull one card, give you guys like a general reading, general message. Maybe it connects with you, maybe it doesn't, that's fine. I just want to show you how I read with it. But if you do gain a message from this, then that is awesome for you. Okay, so I feel like this is our card. I'm going to put all these other cards off to the side. And let's take a look. -ski. <laughs> how wonderful is that? We get the trick or treat card, um, you know, and it being the month of Halloween. Um, mischief and play. So what I'm getting with this is. Um, you know, it, it seems like people feel, uh, at least, you know, in the United States and other countries that celebrate Halloween or All Hallows Eve, that it's a time to really kind of let that other self of our, our, our other part of ourself come out and play that doesn't usually get to come out and play because of, you know, adulting and responsibilities and, you know, it's not appropriate to, you know, dance around in costume and like say July, but it's like, you know, why not? So. Uh, when you have this like carte blanche to uh, go around and be silly and play tricks and dress up funny and wear wigs, which for me is any time of year, but <laughs> you know, if you feel called to do that, I would say don't restrain from doing so because um, we need that outlet. You know, adulting doesn't mean to stop having fun and to stop being a kid and to stop uh, allowing yourselves the cre creativity and expression. Um, that is just needed in a human being. So just, you know, so if you feel called to uh, dance under the moon or, you know, uh, wear a, a wig to work or just, you know, spice up your outfits a little bit or, you know, um, wear something a little spooky, a little creepy, a little more gothic. Um, you want to start carving pumpkins in, I don't know, September. <laughs> it's totally up to you, but have fun. So have fun this month, you know, have a little bit of mischief. Um, Put, put adulting aside for maybe just a moment this month and, and have yourself a bit of fun. So that message is for somebody out there or maybe all of us, maybe also message for moi, you know, have a little more fun. I have fun, but I could always do a little bit more. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys um, dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you have any comments or questions on this, definitely leave that in the comment section down below. Maybe you have this deck and there's a particular way that you use it or that you read with it or that you pair it with things or don't pair it with things. I am more than curious to know. Put that down below as well. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsintarot.com. Maybe you want me to use this deck, so just let me know upon booking. And if you want to send a little love my way, think about joining that KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot. And that's it from me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.